Hi everyone, today I'm going to read oh. Jenny B first creator boss of lunch. Okay, chapter nine. Baloney. Baloney. Okay. This is Jenny B first grader. First grader journal. So I will read to you. Monday, dear first grade journal. Room one is still mad at me about Friday. After we went back to the room, Mrs. Goodman bought bologna sandwich for the children who didn't eat. They were not a hit. I sat at my desk, and I ate out of my new lunch box. I had a tasty peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Cause bought lunch is better than. Bought lunch, and that is not even my fault. Some of the children watched me eat. They made grolly face at me. Today, Herbert is my only friend. Also, Lenny and Jose are being reasonable. I wish Friday never happened. From Junie B, first grader. I peed my eyes at the clock. It was almost two fifty. Just one more hour before I could go home. I try to make the clock go fast with my eyes. I did it not actually work that good. Just then, there was a knock in our door. Mrs. Scary answered it. "Why, hello," he said. "Why, hello yourself," said a friendly voice. And guess what? It was Mrs. Gutsman. She walked in the room with two boxes in her arms. Mrs. Hurt, my heart pounded and pounded to see that woman. Cause, what if she came to sold me? I slum way down in my seat to see, cut, to she couldn't see me. Mrs. Goodman set the box on Mrs. Scary's desk. Then she looked all around the room. I slumped in my seat even faster. Only too bad for me, cause Flavor with Mouse May pointed at me. Mrs. Goodman, Mrs. Goodman, she hollered. Junie, B- Junie Jones is trying to hide from you. She is sliding down in her chair so, so you can't see her. But I am keeping track of her ma- movements. After that, I slid all the way to the floor under my desk. I curled into a ball and hid me. Hide my head pretty soon. I heard feet walking to my desk. I, I am getting used to that sound. The feet spot stopped it next to my chair. I opened one eye and peeked out. I saw the bottom of Mrs. Gutsman's white apron. Junie B said her voice, "Why are you sitting on the floor?" I didn't move any muscles. Cause maybe she would still go away. Possibly, Junie B said, "Mrs. Kutzman again." I bought something for your class. Don't don't you want to see what it is? 
I shook my head real fast. No, thank you, I said. I don't want to see it. And so I can be on your way now, please. I opened my other eye and looked at her feet. They kept on standing there. Then all of a sudden, I hear a loud groan, and what do you know? That woman squatted right down next to me. I was shocked to see her, Mrs. Goodman. I said, "What are you doing there, down here?" Mrs. Goodman did a, did not. Look comfortable. Please, Junebee, I need your help," she said. "I brought cookies for your class today, but there's no one help up there to help me pass them out." I rolled my eyes back it in my head, cause that was not even the truth. Of course, yes. There is Mrs. Goodman," I said. "There's a lot of people up there to help you." Mrs. Goodman shook, shook her head. "No, no, no! You don't understand," she said. After that, she reached into her pocket and she pulled out a pair of plastic mitts. "I need a real hopper, Jenny B," she said. "I need someone, someone with." Experience, Mrs. Goodman smiled, kind of painful. Please, she said, if, if, if we don't stand soon, I'm going to fall right on my kister, and you'll never get me up. I did a teensy smile, cause that was a. Little joke, I believe. Finally, I crawled out of my desk, and I helped Mrs. Goodman stand up. I guess I can help you pass out cookies. I said, kind of quiet. But some of these children are still very mad at me, you know. Mrs. Goodman held my hand. Yes, well, I think maybe I can fix that," she said. After that, she and me and her walked to the front of room together, and Mrs. Goodman showed everyone the cookies. Sugar cookies! Shout the children. Thank you, Mrs. Goodman. Thank you, Mrs. Goodman. Put her hand on my shoulder. Don't thanks thank me, class," she said. Jenny B. Jones is the one who reminded me to pay your you a visit this year. She's the one you need to thank. For a second, no one said anything. Then all of a sudden, Herb hollered out, "Out!" Thank you, Jenny B. Jones. And then all of the children hollered, "Thank you too! Thank you too!" Thank you too. I grinned real big, cause those words felt happy in my ears. After that, I hurried back to the sink and we, we washed my hands. Then I quickly put on my mitts and ran back. Mrs. Goodman gave me a thumbs up. Ready to go, helper? She said. Ready to go. I sat back, and so then. Both of us passed out all of the cookies together, and I did a perfect job. And so here is what I am thinking. I am thinking that maybe that maybe someday I won't be the boss of lunch after all. Maybe someday I wish be the boss of cookies instead, because boss of cookie is the most delicious job I ever heard heard of. Plus, also, I will get to make all of the cookie rolls, and I have already thought for rule number one. I wrote in my journal, I so I won't forget it. Rule number one, one.
The boss of cookies gets to have five sugar cookies all to herself. P.S. Only never eat them in front of the children, cause that would be rude. Probably P.S. Again, plus sometimes she can even eat six. Ha, ha ha. The end. Okay. So it's finished of chap chapter nine. Oh, also, it's finished off Junie B, first grader, boss of lunch. So, bye bye, and see you next. See you with another book, chapter book, Junie B, chapter book. So, bye bye.